Hey guys, it is Nick again from Simplify ERP. In our new series, you'll learn all about Oru and everything new you learn, you can also use in Shopify. We'll educate you more about Oru as a backend CRM system and Shopify as a sales frontend. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so on this screen, I'm at the Oru dashboard, basically the backend of our website. So here, I'm just gonna start typing pages. And you see the first one, website slash config slash pages, open that one. So now that we're here, obviously all of our website data is over here, which means we have to apply a filter to group all of these pages by a website because we are running multiple, in fact, over 10 websites on our database. So applying a filter will define all of our websites and everything will be better organized. So let's go over to group by. Um, You'll, you should have a, here a website, or if you don't, go to add a custom group and choose a website. Apply that. So you, you can see now everything is better organized. I'm gonna search for a page that we're working on for this video. I'm gonna show you on that one. So it's this one. Um, marketing automation, link tracking. Before that, I'm gonna show you how it looks like. This is the page that we have. So, um, here it is, the video. You have to disable the custom grouping when you're exporting pages. That's also important. So you select the page that you want to export, click Action, and then go to Export. This is the most important part. You can see on the left side, there are many, many fields, which are, in fact, I believe so, there are over 500 fields. Um, and that will take a long time, for example, if you wanted to export a page and select all of them. Uh, what we found out, um, we made it so you can export only the needed keys, only the needed fields for a page to function properly within the design and all the data on it. So you choose a temp uh, you can make a template over here, but first we need to um, choose the fields that are on the left side and transform them on the right side before we make a template. So you have to select these ones that I have saved in this template. Uh, use this small search field by typing view name, key, view type, sequence, and so on. You need to select all of these, double click them, by the way. Double click it, it will transform the right side. So you choose this, you choose these ones, and then you go to new template, and you save, uh, give it a name, and then click on the save, there will be a save. Um, let, let me do that for you, actually. Exporting pages, test two. So you click on this save icon, And there we go. So um, I'll just use this one for now. Um, so you export the page. You choose the template, you click export. We have exported the page. As you can see, I downloaded it. So um, I'm gonna in fact delete this page right now by going into action, delete. Make sure you export the page before you delete it. I'm gonna refresh on this page. And as you can see, page does not is not found. So now to import the page, you go to favorites, click import records, load the file that you just downloaded. And you can disable this page so it doesn't get imported because um, that's how it functions actually. That's how the important uh, importing field works. So you click that, do not import. Keep everything as it is, click test. There we go, we have this, everything seems valid. I'm gonna import the page now. Okay, the page is now important. Okay, so we're gonna go on the front end of our page actually. Go to the, all the sites that we're managing. I'm gonna search for link. There it is, link tracking. So I'm gonna give it a link over here. I'm actually gonna give it the same link over here. You have to give uh, the web pages a link after you import them. There it is. So let's visit the page. And there it is. The page is successfully imported, works right, we publish it, and there we go. Has your business outgrown the standard Shopify functionality and you're having to load up your shop with lots of apps? Then it is time to think about centralizing your business in Odoo and using Shopify as a sales frontend. And remember, our team is based in Eastern Europe and we offer consulting and support in English and German. 
Don't forget, check out our YouTube and Vimeo channels. We post every single day from Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. Much valuable content pieces are being uploaded. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave like on the videos that helped you work around your way around the problems you might have faced using Oru. For more tutorials and guides, make sure to check out our websites at simplify-erp.com and simplify-erp.de. Also, check out our pages on social media under simplify-erp, including LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you again in another video.